the final cuts. There's a Scoffrey. The MVP hit two big three-pointers in the final minutes. Here off the dish. He's behind the arc. He nails it. Escoffrey finishes with 15, but it was Calvin Bowman's work inside, which finally gave Erasmus a lead. They had not led all day long. There it was. He got the rebound. He turned around. He knocked the shot down. 16 for Calvin Bowman. Now standing by courtside with Mike Quick, it looks like the entire Erasmus Hall contingent. Thanks a lot, Mike. Uh, boy, I tell you, Vic, they must be happy in Flatbush right about now, huh? You better believe it. It's going to be a nice ride on that D train going back to Flatbush, that's for sure. <laughs> Vic, you must have been sitting on that bench for three and a half quarters wondering, where is number 15? I know you guys call him Star. I was calling him Casper. He was invisible. Hey, he came up at the right time. I knew he was going to come. It was just a matter of time. He told me he was going to try and give me this game, and he came through in the end for us. Just as we were about to go on, Damon was apologizing to Coach. He was saying, Mr. B, Mr. B, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Boy, you came up big in the end, 15 points in the game, the MVP, but 11 of those points in the crucial fourth quarter. Well, I mean, everybody played, you know, real well tonight. I mean, I'm so happy. I mean, Grady is a great team, great coach, you know, and they did a tremendous job. But, you know, we had to do it for the school, you know. The school really wanted this bad, you know, along with, uh, with Coach Vitt Butler. And the community, you know, I mean, everybody's going to feel so good when we go back home, you know? I mean, I was kind of off in the first half, but, you know, I told Coach at halftime, you know, I'll come out and do well in the second half for him, you know? The first city championship for Erasmus since 1965. Vic, what I want to ask you, you came out of that timeout. That was a set play to Calvin Bowman, wasn't it, with the big dunk? Yes, he's our bank man. He's our money man all year long. And we just tried to pound it inside there to him. We figured we could either draw a foul. It's called uh, wing through, where the uh, wingman tries to shoot it inside to him for the dump down, and it worked perfect. Calvin came up big in the end. What about when Jaquay Walls let that shot go? What are you thinking on that sideline? Because you had a good angle look, and that yeah. ball was there. Hey, it's March Madness, isn't it? I thought, uh, you know, I knew we had it. I was scared when I seen it go up, go up in the air, but uh, I'm glad it didn't go in. That's all I can say. You know, I give it to Jack Rangel. He's a great coach, great gentleman. Uh, the team played hard. I feel sorry one of us had to lose, but, you know, it was a good Brooklyn showdown, and uh, I'm glad we came up on top. This guy, Damon, told me back at Elmcore and, uh, and Riverbank State Park about three or four games ago, you said, we will be at Madison Square Garden, and we will win a city championship. You're a confident young man. Well, with the team I have, you know, anybody will be confident. I mean, we have a great coach, you know, hey, great smart. coaching staff. You know, everybody played well tonight. You know, we was kind of sluggish at first, you know. But we got the jitters out at halftime, you know, and I came out well in the second half. So, you know, that's all that counts. We bring, we bring it home to Harwood, you know, to Erasmus Hall. It was billed as the Battle of Brooklyn. They're happy in Flatbush tonight, but in Coney Island, they have nothing to be ashamed about. Just a classic high school year. game. Possibly coach, coach of the year, Vic Possibly. Butler, no, 15 no, and 12. No, no, they're no, lob Mike, the they're, Mike, they're lobbying for it already. That Coach of the Year award comes out in a couple of weeks. Mike, back to you. All right, Mike Quick and the Erasmus Hall contingent. Sounded like uh, one of Muhammad Ali's press conferences with everybody uh, yelling and shouting. And certainly uh, Vic Butler should be congratulated. What a comeback for Erasmus Hall. They were dead and buried. In the final minutes, they come back to win over Grady's Falcons, 68 to 65, their first city championship in over three decades. Congratulations to the Dutchman of Erasmus Hall. We'll have more basketball for you tonight on the MSG Network. The Knicks are hosting the 76ers right here on the same floor at Madison Square Garden, and we'll begin our coverage with Knicks game night following Sports Desk at 7 o'clock. Also tonight, the Rangers visit the Molson Center, the brand-new Molson Center to open that building. We'll have that for you on our MSG2 service. Erasmus 